thank you to all the attendees for joining the Global Emerging Technology Summit and Chairman Eric Schmidt, Vice Chairman Bob Work, and all the commissioners of the National Security Commission on Artificial Intelligence. Thank you for the critical work you have done to advance America's competitiveness in AI. I was proud to establish the AI Commission in the 2019 National Defense Authorization Act. And since then, the Commission has provided Congress with a blueprint to develop and lead the world in artificial intelligence. We have received hundreds of recommendations from the Commission, and we look forward to incorporating several of them into this year's National Defense Authorization Act. But in the race for technological leadership, we are not alone. Our adversaries, like China and Russia, recognize the importance of AI and other emerging technologies. Xi Jinping has made clear his desire for China to be the global leader in the field by 2030. And Vladimir Putin has stated that the leader in artificial intelligence will eventually rule the world. Ceding leadership in AI and emerging technologies to autocrats would have profound consequences for global security. The world has already witnessed these regimes deploy AI to surveil their own populations, execute cyber operations, and improve a host of military capabilities that threaten the security of all. Those who use these capabilities to perpetrate human rights abuses and for other malign activities are more than happy to export this authoritarian model for these technologies to reinforce like-minded regimes and undermine global freedom and democracy. The consequences of ceding leadership in AI and emerging technologies to autocrats would put our national security at risk. That is why we have to work together and find solution at summits like this with our allies who share our common goals. Going forward, international cooperation of like-minded democratic states will be essential, and we must utilize the resources that make our democratic systems great, our people, our open academic systems and research and development infrastructure, and our free markets. These are our greatest assets in this 21st century race for technological leadership. And we need all of them to ensure our free system and democratic values are incorporated into our efforts in the artificial intelligence space. At the beginning of this year, I led a letter to President Biden advocating strongly for allied tech cooperation. And since then, I have been encouraged by the bipartisan cooperation on these issues in Congress and the executive branch's work to prioritize investments in AI and emerging technologies. Through cooperations with our friends and partners here today, I know the United States and our allies will continue to lead the world in the technologies of tomorrow. Thank you again to Chairman Schmidt, Vice Chairman Work, and all of the AI Commission for the hard work that led to today, and thank you for those of you in attendance.